You can hear me, Andy. It still says you're connecting to audio. There we go. <laughs> Should I boot out the other Andy?
I can barely hear you, but I think it's because the microphone's behind you. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. But now I have now I have two Andys, so maybe I should remove the other Andy. That mic is good. Yeah, all right. Hang on. There we go. I hear that radio voice now. <laughs> So yeah, I have two accounts for you showing up. Okay, there's the other one's gone now. Um, I see Kathy is in the waiting room. Should I let her in now? Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. What okay. a beautiful room. No. No. Should be able to. Okay. I just, um, can you, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you very good. Oh, wait. Hang on. One second. Okay. Okay. Try saying something now. Hello, hello. Okay, cool. Um, I just I had the um, the Bluetooth speaker uh, uh, connected and it was just too loud, so. Um, I will uh, I will reconnect it when we're about to go live. But just for now, people are having very the audio. Our, my audio is pretty good. Like this, with this mic. Oh, the, the sound is awesome. You just cut out for a second, but when I hear you, it's very good, very clear. Okay. Um, we might right now. I'm, I'm just I'm hot spotting on my phone because the. Um, this little device. Is it not uh, working? I need to get a trick. Well, I just didn't. I I didn't even try it. Uh, it was just easier to switch to my phone. So I'll get that going. Um, so I'll probably end up kind of going out, coming back in. But we we had a um, we had a just late-ish start, so we probably won't get going until six forty-five. So okay. if we can let folks know, we will finish on, at the same time, but we'll start about fifteen minutes late. Okay, so, so there's um, one person in the waiting room right now. I'll just let her know. Yeah, just, yeah, so they can go do what they need to do. We'll start at 645. And um, what I'll do is I'm going to I'm gonna get the, uh, the puck going. But the visual and audio is all really good. So as good, long as yeah. you get a good internet connection, we should be fine. Right on. Okay, so just leave that with me for a sec. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get this little puppy going, and uh, I'll, I might break up temporarily, but I'll, uh, I'll be back. Yep. ASAP. So and I'll stay here. Sec. Okay. Cool.
And you have these large big rocks going on. It's expensive. Terry, how's the audio here? Sounds good.
But no, Oh, 
the strength of having gratitude. And we're going to be bringing some people in online. So the camera's looking through the whole uh, dining hall here. But don't hesitate to get up and do whatever you need to do while it's going on. And I already see some other cameras going to be circulating around here as well. So go. Okay. And uh, Olivia and um, Jay, come on up. Go over there. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Jane. Jane and Jane. Olivia? Yes. Yeah. Where you go from? I'm from, I think I'm from Halifax, but I'm from Halifax. I'm from Kennecook. Kennecook. Do you know where that is? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's Crash Core, Norrell. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on which way you're going, eh? It's a pretty bit middle of nowhere, but. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to turn it over to Jay. Joe, go ahead and okay. uh, give us your thoughts about gratitude, the strength of having gratitude. In our world today. Okay. Um, a, lot, a lot of gratitude is the um, is the definition of appreciation. If you look at the dictionary, uh, it would give a, a definition, but it never 
gratitude never gives you the, the true meaning of what it means. It's it's a very um, spontaneous thing that we uh, we we kind of um, occurred in in our lives. Eh? It it may be a um, a, a good gesture, you know, like gratitude. It could be somebody holding the door for you. It's, uh, you know, it's gratitude. But also maybe the uh, your parents or somebody that's a family member may get something in appreciation for your achievements or your your goal that you do something good. They give you a, uh, a gift. But the gift is not but it's it's a form a, uh, a gratitude or love, and they give you a uh, appreciation that. But over a long period of time, you gave the gratitude over exceed of your experience in dealing the uh, with them. So if your parents, your grandparents, or whoever family member, uh, it's it's a continuing cycle. It's continuing. You always. Uh, give them respect and 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 do good in school and and you know, you're not uh, uh, a troublemaker like or whatever you know, and those those things are, are uh, life changing um, molds in our lives, eh? especially the younger people. Part part of that is that um, is gratitude, and and a lot of it is uh, how do we say. Thank you, and then by saying you're welcome, when you when you say you're welcome, you're returning the uh, the gratitude back to them because they appreciate uh, your life skills or your or your life. You're doing good and and all that. And some of the gratitude in the Aboriginal is similar to that, and the. The gratitude is the traditional knowledge, the traditional way of not everybody does what we did something today about the smudge. Not not all native do that. Not all uh, anybody like that. Only only certain uh, um, things that well, that that that'll do that. But all Aboriginals are aware of the, the smudge. So. Um, and the added the, the the gratitude in there. Let's say if I uh, if you're my you're my granddaughter, right? And you got A's and hundreds, and you're right up in the uh, uh, high school, right? Really smart, and you that's because of the your foundation in your teaching by your parents, and some of the teachings that were given to you by me. So when you graduate uh, in the uh, great grade 12, uh, my appreciation for your lifelong achievement is that I, I would present you with an eagle feather. Now that you know what it means, because you're, the eagle feather is one of the highest re, um, respect and gratitude. So symbolically, that eagle feather, it, it will be, it's yours, and it'll be uh, embroidered or in, in a case. So I'm saying, Showing my gratitude for you, and then you already showed your your gratitude over twelve years from the time you went to school till you graduated, and and that's part of, part of gratitude. It's not just one act; it could be several, and it could be several before anybody will say. And it's it's hard too. Sometimes you you hear the expression, and I guess he wasn't very grateful. He never even said thank you. And a lot of them is involved in the uh, it's everyday uh, life skills like uh, you know uh, simple 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 thing when you go to a drive to you just hand it to you you know have a nice day that that's gratitude you know it wasn't for you uh, buying that uh, anything in drive to they wouldn't have a job so the gratitude is comes in many many different forms many different. Uh, uh, Thing. And it's, it's really interesting because gratitude is a really um, life setting um, in, in your life. If you didn't have gratitude, appreciation of anything, 
you probably, everybody will probably be an angry person. They, they may have anger management and, and they have, you know, it just, just goes downhill. That's why some of the, the younger people or, or even adults, uh, they don't give thanks. They don't, they don't appreciate. They can do things for everybody. They don't appreciate that. And, and that's part of the, the, eventually they just get cut off. I'm not going to do anything because you don't appreciate it. You don't give gratitude back. But if you gave a little bit back, and it's very, it's a snowball effect, eh? And it happened to be uh, that little word, you know, thank you, you're welcome. And it boils down to the Reader's Digest is, is uh, gratitude. So it's really interesting how all of us get around here together. Symbolically, is the, is the community, it's family, and understanding. There are different cultures that we, 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 we try to understand and we try to live, but respecting the other culture, it's really just as good, it's gratitude, you know, and with the uh, issues with the world current, uh, unless you were there, then you don't really know what's happening. And it's really hard to try to explain to you. Like my previous career, I, uh, I was never told thank you, you know, but yet, I was in a position that I helped people, I assisted people, and, and all this stuff there, but there was no thank you or anything like that. What did you do when your gratitude wasn't reciprocated? Before that? What did you do when the gratitude wasn't reciprocated or shown? When they didn't? What did you do? How did you feel about that? Um, it, it was it was the, um, the, the, the allergy I, I use, it, it, it's like, um, it was like an egg, you know, if you push on a side, it will break. But you, they laid the egg side together at the end, it's stronger. And it developed a, a characteristic in me to accept that those guys are, 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 are those people are not going to say thank you. It was the way of life. And then uh, it, it's just reality. It's reality and face of in, in the uh, circumstances. But you sit there and um, you don't embellish, you you don't you know rub it in their face like that or anything like that. Just leave it be. They'll they'll, they'll come around someday. They'll say you know you're doing a good job. You're you know we didn't know how what kind of stuff you're going through and how the people treat you. But it's some people don't understand the different professions have different results. You know. It's it's a very uh, endless journey that we travel, and that and that's how you be, you become very um, strong. You become very uh, uh, your your skin is not so thin, thin it becomes thick. You just you know, just go go on in uh, with your life. Right? So would you say that gratitude is strongly um, related to like awareness? What's that? Would you say that gratitude is strongly related to awareness? In a sense, it is. It, it's uh, awareness. It's appreciation on the. Um, it's 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 an in-depth layer of like an onion. You peel one onion, and then you get another onion. You get another. So gratitude is that, and awareness is part of the appreciation. In when the bottom line comes, when you finally peel that last layer off, then I. I didn't know, so thank you very much. You know, you, you know, and they just the gratitude comes with with that. It's it's wrapped so many uh, layers, and it, and it takes a long time for anybody to really appreciate what you did in school, what you did at home, what you did in, in any any uh, careers or choice or or anything that you wanted to do. And I think a lot of times um, gratitude will come into one little word, and and it, and sometimes we miss how people show gratitude, and sometimes we don't even hear uh, individuals saying, "That's good," or "Yeah," just simple. Instead of you know, instead of giving a long speech, you know, I'm really proud of you for doing good in school. I'm really proud of you for 
you know, it, it's a very short response. You know, hey, dad, Graham, or mom, I got an A in, in school. Yeah, that's it. That's a form of gratitude. It doesn't have to be a long speech. It doesn't have to be a declaration of the, anything. Once they acknowledge that, yeah, they're inside, they're, they're blaming, they're, they're in Boston. Hey, my little girl, my little boy just got an A in school, you know. And it's a lot of it is the, uh, how they control emotions, how they control the inner of themselves. And it's, it's really very, um, it comes in a different form, different mass, and in, in, in them saying, I'm very proud of you. I'm very uh, glad, it, you know, it just comes a very, you, you won't even, sometimes you won't even hear it, you know. You know, I just told her I got an A in, in math or science or whatever, and she never responded. She probably did. She said we didn't hear, it. and that's where you you got you can't take those negative energies of uh, uh, misunderstanding gratitude. They they did. It's just it's just that we didn't hear. It. And lots of times I I did stuff. Uh, I would wash dishes without being told because we don't have no girls at our house. We got all boys in our house, you know, and nothing, nothing was said, you know, or I was vacuum cleaning. That's showing my gratitude towards my wife and, and my family that, you know, no, no menial labor is, is, is not a woman's job or a male's job or whatever. It's, it's a family assistance in gratitude. So I vacuum clean, I wash dishes, sometimes I cook, and it's just a way of a cycle of life, and a cycle of uh, doing things. And the gratitude is they, uh, they appreciate that. It doesn't have to come in words, and it doesn't have to come in like, hey, you're clapping, hey, I'm glad you're washing. No, it, it comes in, you know, oh, I see you did the dishes. That's gratitude. That's, that's showing gratitude. You know, that's good. I don't, you know, I don't have to do it. So, Gratitude, it comes in many variations of um, words and action. So sometimes we, we, like I said, I keep repeating myself, we don't hear the welcome and we don't hear the thank you. So gratitude is a very, uh, uh, you know, if we turn the lights off, it'll be dark. We're still going to be here, turn the lights on, they're still here. So that kind of atmosphere that you, you we do when we deal with uh, uh, gratitude. And we pass that. So you kind of talked about how gratitude is very layered, like an onion. So yeah. what would you kind of consider the like the first layer, the first step to kind of recognition? Recognition. Yeah, recognition and what it is, mm -hmm. what you're being gratitude for, and what the what's the contents, what inside. So it's it's almost like the uh, is rec once you recognize the the uh, gratitude in the, in your objective and your goals or anything. That you're you're doing, and somebody's going to say, "Well, you know, looking at the inner self, you, you peel an, an orange, you, you peel the, the, the that's recognized it's an it's an orange, and it's I got to peel the thing. So what's inside is the is what you would be eating. So that's your that's your welcome. Gratitude is you got an orange in your hand, and then the result is you're going to be given a uh, a reward for, for doing that you know it's it's you recognize them what what you what you gratitude what it is you got to recognize what gratitude is as an individual as a, a way of um, appreciation you know you know you, you say thank you and then welcome but but what, what really comes first, the, the welcome or thank you? You know, it, it's, a German, it's a grammatic uh, word, eh? I often thought welcome or thank you, you know? So it's it really uh, something like that, eh, you know? But recognizing what attitude is helps you to understand what you appreciated of um, what was taking place, you know, understand it, eh? So gratitude is quite personal to the individual. It is. Yeah. It is. It's, it's very personal to all and every and everybody in this room here, or even on the uh, on the uh, internet, 
or in the Zoom. Everybody has separate, different ways of showing gratitude. They have their own belief. They have their own uh, culture awareness. They have their own how how does um, it, it takes place. Everybody has a different way of showing gratitude. Like in the Aboriginal uh, contents, uh, when somebody comes to my house, they don't even knock. They just open the door and, and just say, hello, Joe. Oh, in a second, I'll get some tea or I'll get some coffee. But if I did that in a non-Indigenous, in, in the uh, Caucasian society, I'd, I'd probably be uh, 911, what is your emergency? <laughs> you know, type thing like, you know, so cultural awareness, not known cultural awareness, it pays a big, pays a big impact. So when you understand your culture and understand your culture and understand my culture, <laughs> then we become more uh, in, in, intertwined with each other. So known culture is, is a very uh, how gratitude plays in that. So, you know, when I when I offer um, tea for my visitor, you know, I make it for him, you know. And then that's my appreciation. And he'll say, well, Alan, that means thank you. Then then I would offer, um, if I got any sweets or treats like that, I would give it to him. But mostly he'll just drink the tea and so does gratitude. So he's paying gratitude towards me to visit me. Maybe I didn't have no visitors or maybe I'm come, you know, he just wants to show his respect for me. And then and, 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 and in turn, I would return that favor or the, the visit to him. If I say, well, geez, he's been alone, so I'll go and visit him. You know, I may knock, I may not knock. Probably I won't knock. Pay him back. <laughs> but anyway, gratitude comes in many different forms and may, many different shapes. It could be a gesture. It could be a word for uh, word format. It could come in uh, word for, word for it's, it's just it's just a wide wide thing. Like gratitude to me is what happened to me today, and the biggest thing that I I received without even any prompt or like that. I went to this uh, place of business, and because I I I I I knew it was there, but I didn't go. But my friend, uh, my helper, wanted to go to this uh, place of business, and said, "Let's go," because you're not going to be here. So and anyway, we got there, and I um, so when I got there, he was really impressed how these items were made and and stuff like that, and I can't find it. <laughs> so anyway. So he, he was very impressed with the, uh, the, the the building of this material and stuff like there, and it was uh, it was um, spiritual or spirit spirit. Anyway, it was a really uh, thing, and the owner, you know, we were kind of connected, and his name was John, and then he just reached down and and out of his um, thing, and then he gave me. Uh, he, he, gave, he gave me that. It, it's a turtle. And it's funny how, how many animals could have been in there and turn and, and just, you can look at it. it. It was a turtle, but then turtle, you know, he just gave it to me like that. That's appreciation. That's gratitude. It comes in many different forms. You don't know when gratitude is going to be in, 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 uh, before you. So gratitude is, is that. And it's funny about the turtle, but turtle is a turtle island in Canada. So in appreciation of that, I, I, I kept it, you know, I put it near near my heart and that I will honor it, you know. But we give, when you receive something in gratitude or in friendship, you must return that gratitude. It might not happen today, it might not happen tomorrow, but it will happen and they will appreciate it more. They're not expecting anything. So today I had this um, orange t-shirt, you know, orange t-shirt to residential school survivor. It was given to me and I, it was mine, but I never put it on and, they, and I said, okay, that's where that's going. It's, it's going to my friend, John. So I folded it and, and then tonight at, Prior to uh, the smudging tonight, 
I presented to him as, as a gift. And, and that's the gratitude that we, uh, we have to understand how we exchange gifts. We exchange welcome or thank you. But it's one of the attitudes, it, 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 uh, the attitude, it comes, like I said, it comes in many, many different forms of layers. So, and it's really interesting how uh, we, 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 um, we overlook it. And sometimes we don't hear enough, you know, your, your, your attitude or the um, great gradation, it, it, we don't hear sometimes. You know, if you listen to your parents, you'll you'll hear. It. Just pay attention, and and they'll say they they appreciate your work and and, and stuff like that. You know, it's really um, it's an eye opener once you start opening these up. This is why we smudge our ears, right? When we smudge our ears, we open up the ears so we could hear and listen. Part of Aboriginal teaching is that we teach how to for gratitude. Open your eyes. You know, in your mouth, open your mind. So those are those are the teachings that the the elders have pa passed on to me, and they said that someday you're going to be using those teachings, which I do every day. So gratitude is is that, and part of that is sharing our knowledge, our culture, and in a in a way of life. I still, you know, I still have the practice in the traditional way of I still have a TP. But in the TP, I have a, uh, uh, a a good setting. You know, it's really it's really nice. I, I live in Indiebrook. That's where I live. So a lot of the, the teachings come from there, and the and sometimes the uh, gratitude is somebody visiting me. They don't have to bring me no gifts, or they just come and visit me and talk. That's them saying, "Nice talking to you. Nice seeing you again." So anyway, that's part of it. I get into a long story. Eh? <laughs> now, they, they, I was teaching guys here and they're talking about how laughter is medicine and and to me that's what I try to bestow on people if you smile, <laughs> laugh then it's part of medicine because I don't know what how if you're depressed or you're in a bad mood or if you're like I'm not having so medicine uh, releases that uh, that thing in, in us like, like adrenaline it just releases that and it just gets rid of it. And, and, and that's uh, at, um, gratitude. So I, I can see that being released, eh? And I don't expect nothing bad, but it just it's just a smile or a laughter. I told him I, I speak uh, eight languages and read and write seven. But I'll continue on with that story. I said, but, I, but I'm a good storyteller. So which one is true? No, no, no. You can call a friend if you want. So really, it's, it's, it's what it is, you know. You know, I'm not going to tell them the difference. But you know, they might be talking about me in a different language. But no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Yeah. And I, uh, you know, like uh, appreciation is very is something really good. You know, is is gratitude same as appreciation? I don't know. Spelled different, <laughs> sounds different, but appreciation is is just a, is a uh, very. Uh, Looking forward to that, you know, positive. Appreciate something, gratitude. So if we use the word, you're welcome and thank you. Those are the two words that we could use as uh, gratitude and appreciation. It's all the language problems. Eh? It's all the language, how we deliver stuff, you know, and, and, and that's part of our, our teachings. Anyway, so what do you think? So your question. Would, you, would you agree that you know gratitude is essentially the foundation to our lives? I mean, it influences how we connect with people, how people react to us. You know, the connections between people. Yeah, I think like no, I think you know this is really interesting because that's part of your upbringing. That's part of your relationship of your your parents. The grandparent, or even you know, even your immediate family, and I think that's part of your your, your development in appreciation, uh, gratitude. It's your family structure. It, if, if the family 
is unstable. They, they become uh, dysfunctional. They become very uh, uncontrollable. So stability in a family is very important. And, and having that stability in finding the right balance in life, even in the family structure, and finding the two in balance of everything. It's, you know, it's finding the two. And the family structure is that. It's gratitude, appreciation, and stuff. And, and, that's, and that's life. Yep. I'm curious on your advice for when misunderstandings about what is gratitude. Like misunderstanding? How to, yeah, get through that. Um, let's put let's put it this way: you're you're driving a car, and somebody throws a rock through your window. You're a driver, right? Oh, okay. Okay, and then when what happens is shock, right? Shock could be, uh, what's that, what you, you want to know about? Misunderstanding, misunderstanding? Yes. or like that. Okay, misunderstanding, gratitude. So you, you, you're actually in, in a shock. Boom, what the heck happened here, you know? So in the next stage, it becomes anger. This all happens in like 3.2 seconds. Like somebody throws a rock in there, boom, slam on a brake, and now you're angry. Somebody did something. The third stage, and when it comes to uh, misunderstanding and gratitude, is the resolution. The resolution is very important in, in everything. Without resolution, you're not going to solve anything. You're still going to be angry. You're still going to be in shock. But if you don't have the resolution, it, it's just a cycle. It just goes, but goes on and on. But when resolution comes a, a part of that, then it resolves. It, it resolves the anger, it resolves the, the shock, and it also dissolves the word uh, misunderstanding. And then you, you're taking the word MIS out of there. When you take the MIS out of there, it's understanding, right? Yeah. So your, your interpretation is, is developed in removing those uh, uh, prefix words and they're like so it's understanding so it, it becomes a development of lifestyle and understanding human behavior understanding the philosophy of what it is the teachings and a lot of elders are very smart and and, and they just have a simple little word pay attention something like that so but he hasn't have time to understand you know he just it's just the way he does and i understand how uh, I got to pay attention a little bit more, you know, what I'm doing, you know, I'm doing something wrong. He just says, pay attention. So I'm, so I re revamp that, that those teaching. Okay. Now I get it. You know, he doesn't have to give me a song and dance. Eh? Anyway, what, what else you got? Girl? Well, you just talked about how resolution is very important for kind of like this, the smooth journey of yeah. understanding gratitude. So what, what do you think are some like specific things that people can do? That can help with that. The solution? Resolution, yeah. To make it smooth. Yeah. Well, in the, uh, they, had, they have 94 recommendations on the truth in, in TRC. 94 recommendations. They can't even get past page one. And they, they, they're, they're just, you know, like, you make 94 recommendations, how are you going to, but the first word, in the TRC is truth and, re and we're involved with the residential school. They just want the truth. They want the truth to be told and they want to hear the truth. Reconciliation is the TRC, you know, but it's, and that's, and that's what it is. When you want to resolve anything, you want to, you want to hear the truth. I might not like it, I, I may I may be uh, uh, I might say something to offend you, and then if I deny it or I'm being truthful, then you're going to be mad at me. But if I told the truth, look, I did say I said something bad or I, I offended her. I'm really apologize. I'm sorry, and then the resolution is forthwith. We become good friends. You do my homework for me.
my paper. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's what it is. It's resolution is a very important tool in in, in any in any um, circumstance, whether it be at work, at school, or even at home. Those things are very it, it, it time consuming, but it's very uh, you you do it enough time, it becomes repetitious, and it becomes very uh, second nature to you, and then you learn as you go along in, in your life. You know, we're not going to satisfy everybody. We're not going to be, uh, be friends with everybody. People are in the, uh, a negative mindset, but that's their upbringing. You know, it's no fault of yours. You didn't bring them up. But those are the things that are, um, we, we have to find the, the, the center. And it always comes back to being balanced, balanced in our lives, balanced in how we do things, how we uh, move our daily, you know, our, our daily schedules. You know, and, and, and that's what it is, the, the resolution and finding out you know, the resolution. So anyway, and whatever. Keep on coming, girls. <laughs> no. How do you find, so if there is an unbalance in your life, how can you find that and try to resolve, resolve? If, if there's If there's an in, imbalance in your life, you got you got to remove the burden of that's holding you down. You got to maybe change a little bit. You may have to change your attitude, or you may have to change the way you're doing things. And and the balance is we add on negative energy. When we add on negative energy, we add we add on if you remove jealousy, if we remove greed, if we remove um, animosity, or somebody that. You know, those things are are in balance, and it, it overweighs the, the good that you have by removing those entities in in our lives, in our daily life. Remove them. I don't care. I don't I, let, let them call me whatever they want. I don't care. You know, you, you're releasing that energy. You don't. It it just it just gone. Then all of a sudden, your at your 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 way of life then becomes more balanced. And it, it is, it's like she's talking about me, or he's talking about me, or they said about this. And we, and when we let that fester inside of you, it will bring you down. That's why you never argue with anybody, because you're, you're getting below them when they argue, and, and, and they get, they're getting to you, and they just walk away, and then the, the imbalance in your the attitude. So force on, force on force only creates force. And if, if you if, if they're using force or anything like that, the imbalance, it just just go with it. And then eventually you can't push you anymore, or they can't push you anymore. They, the balance is stopped, but they're not getting to you. They're not getting your goat, I guess, so to speak. They're not breaking your your spirit and stuff like that. So the balance is is there to protect you. We all have have the internal. A protection of all it, and it's, let's say uh, if I'm standing, if I'm standing next to you, and I start moving closer and closer, eventually you're just gonna back away because you have this aura, this this placement of your between him and two people. You will you will move away because it, it's the way it's it's human. It's it's a kinetic energy. That's what it is, and it's really interesting because. It, it it goes in balance, so that's what it is. It's, it's fine, and in, in you're fine in balance, just staying away from it. And that's in life, you know. Don't let don't let people bring you down. Don't don't let don't listen to whatever rumors they have. It just then the balance it just becomes lifted. And it comes very back into your lifestyle, you know. So I'm just wondering if you would say that gratitude. Would you say that gratitude either starts with kind of within yourself or starts with the influence of other people? Um, there is a, a parallel to that statement. And to me, it would be a parallel to your statement. I'll explain it one way, then I'll, I'll explain it another way. Uh, gratitude to me is is a family structure. It's a way we're being brought up. Please and thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I got to do my homework. The, the, those are the life skills of everyday people. 
you know, and now the other one that runs parallel with that in the same atmosphere, uh, they're disrespectful. They don't disrespect their, disrespect their parents. They don't care about school. They have no moral judgments or no moral ethics when it comes to other people. But those are the things that there were parallel. You know, you got negative and you got the positive. And, and that's where, that's when you have to decide uh, to keep your distance away from them. So it's you as an individual will stay on the same side and stay on the same pathway. You could, you could literally uh, block them and, and get rid of them, you know? No, nope, thank you. Not talking to you. Talk to the hand, you know, whatever. And, and 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 they and they can't get at you. They can't attack you, because they know that you you have built up a a very immune, uh, positive gratitude that they don't they don't they can't get under your skin. And that's part of the, the teachings and and life skills and how how we um, just simple go through life, eh? You know. It's a parallel. It's a parallel dimension that we do. We got the dark side and we got the light. You know, but it's like uh, Scoot Lyra, go to the dark side. You know, you end up dying anyway. But <laughs> so Star Star Wars, right? But that's reality. They, they they talk, and I'm looking at a holy. What a philosophy cheating that is. You know, here's a guy going on a dark side, and and he would turn out to be evil. So anyway, besides that. What anymore there? How are we doing, Bob? Or Andy? Oh, we're doing good. All right. Yeah. Andy's in, in the Toronto station. We're uh, doing reviews. <laughs> so how much time we got there, Bob? How are we that's doing? about it. That's it. Hey, listen, I, I, I want to really appreciate uh, everybody online. I never got to really say anything, but uh, I really like their, their 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 questions. These two lovely ladies, and the, I really appreciate their their honest. And I find that their spirits are good. I find they're good spirits, and they will succeed in whatever education. They're you guys going to university now? Yes. Where? Um, I'm not attending university currently, but I'm yeah. thinking of either. Uh, Acadia? St. Mary's, Acadia. Acadia, Acadia, Acadia. <laughs> Acadia. Sure. Uh, huh? St. Mary's, right? Oh, then you must know my son, then. He went to St. Mary's. But anyway, <laughs> don't believe in anything. No, anyway, uh, but uh, to go for it, take the positive energy and, and the gratitude that, that they, they, you, you will take with them. And I, I wish all the best for you, both girls, and uh, enjoyed your question. It gives me time to sharpen my tools a little bit here. But anyway, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. And I want to thank both of you, Ruby and Jay, because um, my gratitude, because they had no idea they were going to be sitting up here <laughs> no? until about 45 minutes ago. Oh. And they rose to the occasion, and it was amazing. I, I felt like I was being roasted here, like a, yeah. like a dinner. I just, I just thought it was a great opportunity. It's, it's an important conversation. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right, take those things away from me. What do you think? Okay. All right. And I want to turn it over to Andy. Um, you're going to shepherd us through um, the next. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, just give us one moment, folks. We're just going <laughs> to. Reorient things a little tiny bit here. All right. Work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, welcome. Um, tonight is about kind of getting started on this four day path that we're going to be on. And uh, you can get a sense here that we're starting with gratitude. Uh, the the overall uh, the overall theme of, of this particular Thinker's Lodge is going from the great unraveling to the great turning, and we're going to go through that through that process through, uh, through four days, each with its own theme for each day. So today is starting with gratitude. 
tomorrow we'll be facing the great unraveling. So kind of facing the unfolding state of the world. Uh, Saturday will be the great turning. So moving from kind of like this, uh, kind of seeing the, the, the sobering state of the world to how can we be different in the face of that? And then finally on, on Sunday, it'll be going forth. <laughs> Now, there'll be discussion groups happening uh, tomorrow and Saturday, but running through the entire piece are the, these groups we're calling core groups. So the core, the core group you'll be meeting with tonight is the, is the group that you'll be meeting with at the end of each day until we're done or, or until you have to leave. Um, so uh, and we had to shuffle a little bit because the folks that you know, we have here and we have online Aren't, aren't the full group that we had kind of we were starting with. So we're gonna we're gonna reform groups based upon who we actually have in the room. So, um, but tonight we're gonna do the first core group meetings, which will be equal parts introduction to get to know each other within your group, but also to explore gratitude, your own gratitudes. Um, so I'm gonna just walk you through ever so briefly what the uh, what we're kind of. Uh, some guidelines for that we're suggesting that if they're useful for you, you can use them. If they're not, you can use your own process. But I'm just going to, both for you and for the folks online, because the folks online will be, be a group, um, just going to walk through that real quickly, and then we'll get people into groups. So I'm just going to share my, oh, um, Terry, can you give me a screen share? On it. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Okay, hang on a sec, folks. You should have it now. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Terry. Okay. So I'm going to give you a hint. We have a little, a little hand, one hand, one page uh, cheat sheet. But I just want to walk you through what we're, we're going to be doing. So each each core group meeting basically has one, one maybe two questions that we're going to suggest you, you work through. Tonight's is around gratitude. So the question will be, you know, who are you grateful for? Well, and and really within the context of what we're meeting about, you know, so we're we're here. To, to explore some big issues. We're, you know, we're talking about climate change. We're talking about the nuclear threat. We're talking about um, other aspects of, of uh, what we would call the great unraveling. So within the context of that discussion, tonight's uh, in your core groups, you're gonna be talking about who are you grateful for? Like who maybe is, do you see as a leader within within this, uh, this, this space? Um, uh, but also, you know, what might you be grateful for? And you could be grateful for you know, an event, a, a movement, a place that you can go to. So we're, we're trying to help you get, get a sense of and, be, and, and to introduce to each other what, you know, what gives you strength and what gives you joy. So when we go into tomorrow's discussion, um, which, you know, will be a little more sobering discussion because we're going to be talking about some, some weightier stuff. You go into it with kind of that, up, you know, an uplifting discussion tonight. Um, the way that we're proposing that you, you know, you, you kind of do, do the, just get these discussions started is that you just start by a little bit of reflection on your own with, at your table with your core group, just for a, a, a minute or two. And then everybody take a turn and just say, well, in, in this case, here's, here's who I'm grateful for and why. And then they go to the next person, and the next person, this person, and just give everybody a chance to kind of share that briefly without any questions, without any discussion. And then once everybody's gone around your table, then you can kind of just explore it. Follow up questions, tell me more about this. What's that story behind that? What does this mean for you? That kind of thing. And we've got a good chunk of time to kind of explore things. And tonight we have, uh, I don't know if we have it every night, but we have some desserts, looks really yummy, uh, and coffee if you're here. If you're not, you're on your own. Um, but um, so, uh, and that's, that's that simple. So it's one, you know, one question, what or who are you grateful for within the context of, of these discussions we're having and, um, and why? And we, you'll do that each, at, uh, each person will do that at, at their, their respective core group. So 
I'm going to kind of get us into groups. And what I'm going to ask is that for, um, for, hang on here. So let me get this sorted here. Oh, there's, there's what I'm grateful for, my cat. Um, no, hang on. Bear with me. There we go. Stop sharing. Okay. I'm going to ask one person in the room to join the, the, the virtual group because we have, we need, a, we need one more person to kind of round out this, the, the group. So is there a volunteer who'd like to be in conversation with our the virtual group of folks that we have um, have assembled here? One volunteer. Nancy, team player Nancy. Come on down. Round of applause for Nancy for being such a good team player. All right. So I'll get you set up here. What I would ask the rest of you is to, to organize into three roughly similar sized groups. I'll leave it to you to do that. Um, but we'll put we'll put one group here, one group here, and one group in the back corner. So we have we have we just don't have like we had we were going to be 45 people in the room, we've got 15, so we're gonna so that's not if you have the opportunity to form to form new form groups. So you so I mean that we're shuffling the cat. Yeah. So three groups, self-organized into three groups. Uh, one there, one there, one there, and I'll get Nancy set up with uh, virtual books. And in, you know, no. while you're shuffling, there's some information that you buy For this computer, Andy, you might want to turn off that main mic that you were using. Oh, sure. Okay. Just because we're picking up a lot of background noise. Right or use the mic, whatever's attached to the laptop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Really oh, it was better with the mic. Because <laughs> this oh, is picking on. up a lot of noise. You're getting more noise now? Yeah, because the mic oh, okay. is more wide reaching in the sound where the mic, you can actually change it to pick up just directly in front of it, or you can make it kind of pick up the surrounding. And then there's just a little bit of background noise with the mic, but I think that would be fine as long as she's muted when she's not talking. Okay. Okay, bear with me one moment here. I'm going to drop in the chat a link to those guidelines. Okay, so everybody online, you can get a copy of those guidelines I have on the, on the screen so you can have it digitally or print it off if you want. You might and need to change the setting on those guidelines. Now. I get the... Uh, Yep, the, the sounds much better, but I just clicked on the link for the guidelines and it made me request access. All right. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll get better. We have everybody kind of like over here are grabbing pie and, and coffee, so it's going to be a little a way little to rub out. it in. We'll, uh, we'll get you sort out here in a second. Um, I'm going to get this microphone switched from omnidirectional to, to directional, just so it'll, it'll get rid of the ambient noise. Just one second. That'll make a big difference.
We can't hear you, but I know you mentioned something about pie. And it looked very good. There we go. Can you hear me okay? I, yes, uh, whoever. Yes, I can hear you, whoever is speaking. <laughs> I can it's me. I was, Perfect. Oh, Terry, is that you? Yes, yes, that's me. No, I'm only I... on the right hand side. Wait a minute. Speak again. Hello, hello, Tessie. Okay, I think I only hear you on the right for some reason. But but the sound it's, is it's much pretty... better. Oh, okay. Now it's now it's better. Yeah. Perfect. Um, you might want to let Andy know. I don't know if anyone else is having an issue getting the Google Drive document, but I don't have access to it. It says request access, which usually means uh, he didn't change the link to share with everybody. Yeah. Basically, he needs to change permissions on the drive. Yeah. Okay. So. Hi, Kathy. Hi. <laughs> Did you want to be here with okay. Pi? <laughs> with you can join. With two people, I think. We went kayaking. Mary and I went kayaking yesterday. It was beautiful on the river. Oh, awesome. <laughs> my kayak. That's okay. Oh, so, wow. Friends, friends, good friends. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to work on Andy to get that I to link. join my group now, so. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so... I'll, work, I'll work with Andy on the link. I can, I can send him a message. But what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put you all in a breakout room. Uh, so if you need anything, you can come back. I'm going to broadcast the question because I did copy down the question uh, into the okay, I don't... into the group. So okay, because gonna... I've forgotten the questions. Yeah, I'll I'll put them. I'll put them. It's good. And I'll and yeah, I'll work on Andy to see if we can get the access in the meantime. But I do have the rough questions. So I'm opening the rooms now. So you should all see a request on your screen to join uh, virtual core group one. Okay. Go right ahead and click that. Okay, I see Terry. There you go.
am I in the right spot? I think yep. so. Okay. Yep, we're we're calling everybody back. So I guess as soon as Andy, who's not actually Andy, comes back to the main room, we'll be able to see everybody. Great. Yay. I hope you guys had a great chat. We did, yeah. It's really nice. One of many. Fantastic. This seems like a really great group. It is. It's this is good to have this tonight before we drop into the the shit the shit tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Night, yes. <laughs> yeah. This, that was a really good idea because I feel more capable now. Yeah. Oh, that is great to hear. I'm going to throw in the chat uh, the the proper link. Okay. For everyone to grab for the future breakout rooms. Okay. Well, um, there we go. So we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up the evening. Yeah. Um, so, so thank you for uh, for uh, being good sports and kind of getting getting shuffled into new groups and and uh, really great, lovely uh, conversations. We were kind of eavesdropping a bit as we were walking by. It's, it's, it's lovely to see people being given the opportunity to to, to share and really taking it. So uh, so just you know, this the group that you're in. Um, the group that you're in is your group. So this will be your core group going forward. Um, and uh, we, there will be other people joining uh, tomorrow, mostly virtually, uh, who, who will get in their own core groups. So, so we'll keep you intact because you know, you've, all, you've been through the introductions and the initial discussions, so we're just going to keep you together. Um, and you know, the, the, if we haven't said it already, the purpose of the core groups is to give you some time at the end of the day to kind of work through what was discussed earlier in the day. Now today, there wasn't, there wasn't as much, but tomorrow was going to be a full day of stuff, of discussions, um, pretty weighty discussions. And the core group that you'll have at the end of the day tomorrow, you'll have, you'll have lots of stuff to, to share and kind of work through. And the same will happen on Saturday and then at the end of the morning on Sunday. So. Uh, so this is your your core group is kind of your sacred space, and we'll you know alongside that, starting tomorrow morning, we'll have discussion groups where you'll kind of get mixed up into different groups around particular topics that you want to talk about. So we're going to have uh, uh, up to five concurrent uh, uh, sessions uh, in, in kind of breakout format tomorrow morning, and also Saturday morning we'll have you give you a chance to kind of shuffle. Tomorrow afternoon and Saturday afternoon to kind of get into the, into the other groups and to find out what discussions happen in the morning. Um, <clears throat> but so uh, the other things that are in the filmmaking that we're doing. Um, if in your discussion, and this is kind of a standing, a standing uh, offer, if in your discussions something comes up for you where you, you'd really like to have it documented and, you, you, and you'd be prepared to kind of share it with the world. Um, <laughs> You want to find uh, Brooks or Janice, these folks here, our, our lovely and handsome videography team, and they will they'll be there to help to, uh, to help document that 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 insight or that that feeling or a story that you want to share, and uh, that certainly uh, the easy times will be during the breaks. So we'll have like mid morning, mid afternoon breaks. We'll have lunch breaks. We'll have dinner breaks. So there's lots of uh, lots of opportunity to, to find them to, to do that. And if, if it doesn't work out, you know, over the next few days, they've made an offer that they could arrange to do a, a, a like a Zoom call with you after the retreat if, if something comes up for you later on. So, yeah. Let's... And the online people as well. Yeah, and the online folks as well. So yeah, so this this offer goes to everybody. Um, and we we expect, you know, we were you know. In theory, we're expecting like 30 folks coming in online, but I think it was a, a big ask for a lot of the folks um, who were coming in online to kind of be, to come in, in, in an evening. So I think we're going to see a lot more online folks tomorrow. Um, we'll have a few more in-person folks kind of showing up tomorrow, I think, as well. But we'll kind of get them in their own in their own groups. So. Um, anything else, Bob? You want to? So log simple logistics. Um, every day starts here with breakfast at 8 a.m. Um, and then Bob or I or both of us will give you kind of the, the map for the day, and then we'll roll into uh, a teaching from uh, Elder Joe, and then we'll go into the discussion topics after that. So uh, are there any 
uh, any questions, like just kind of like clarifying questions, procedure questions, logistical questions, anything that you're kind of sitting on that you'd like to have an answer to before you before we break. Uh, out of curiosity, since I arrived late, as far as room assignments, uh, how do I learn which room? You talk to Liv. Oh, in the lodge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if you haven't registered yet, go to the lodge and Liv will help you out. Oh, cool. Any questions from the uh, from the virtual crew? No. Oh. All good. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, Bruce. Yeah, I was making a comment at uh, the, the camera work. Um, you know, we're we're sort of approaching this um, collectively as a, as a creative project, as an art project, and we're hearing threads of stories, and we're we're kind of floating here, learning as we go how to do this with you all. So we're kind of staying out of your way as you're. But we're just really quite new. We're not neutral with this. Um, and um, so as we think about that, as material emerges for you, um, if it's valuable and powerful that this is happening in this group frame, we're inviting you to think about helping us stitch something together across all kinds of different components that are going to go on in these days uh, for other people here. So we hope that, that if you're moved, in, your, in, in these groups, you'll be moved to um, uh, to join us in a, you know, a, a space in the, in, the, in the lodge. And we're not looking for long bits. We're not looking for big craft and stuff. We're looking for just short, punishing, particularly <coughs> personal, emotional, powerful um, material, not, not, not grand statements. Um, so, by, so by all means, um, we're, we're relying on you all to help us to whatever degree you're moved to, because stitch something together for um, um, it's top of the world, but we're going for it. Yeah. Um, also, just a question if you arrive late. Um, I think the core group's got moved around a little bit. How do I know who's my core group? Uh, we will get you in a new core group uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any other questions? I think that the, oh, yes. Oh, well, just will there be a chance just to find out who everybody is? That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't factor that one in, did we? Well, I, Bob didn't. I, I, well, um, for starters, um, Liv can get you a name badge. So that's a good start. Okay? And maybe even, I didn't do it, and maybe even your last name. And then you can kind of at least know who that is by name. And if you don't get a chance to chat with them, then um, there's the roster online. But we'll have to think about a way that maybe there's a kind of a quick popcorn. Interview. Well, listen, we can, we can, if if everybody agrees, to just say hi. I'm Susan Lorraine from Halifax. Uh, we can do, you know, we can do like. A five second intro from everybody and be done, and, and so, just so everyone knows right now. So maybe we do that at breakfast tomorrow. I was going to say, one of the mm -hmm. breakfast, yeah? Yeah, why don't we do that? Do breakfast, so okay. Be here on time at eight o'clock. I see some absolutely beautiful looking cinnamon rolls rising on the counter. Mm -hmm. in there. So you don't want to miss that. All right, yeah, so uh, yes, yeah, so we'll do it. Intro, thank you, Susan, for the uh, for the uh, so that's a great suggestion. Um, Last logistical detail, tomorrow night uh, here, we're gonna do the inaugural uh, Thinker's Lodge mini film festival. Uh, so we're gonna, we have a, a few, we're, we're still open to, to suggested uh, things that we could stream um, for fun um, or, th or, or thoughtful stuff we could stream uh, tomorrow night. And then Saturday night is, a, is uh, uh, kind of a, Potentially, depending on you all, uh, it could be a bit of an open mic if, if people have uh, a talent they'd like to share, like a poem or a song or anything you want to share. So we happen to have a theater student here. Yeah. So it's not just putting it out there, maybe a little dramatic piece. Uh, so yeah, so, so Saturday will be will be kind of a nice social time um, where, where we'll have like a, a chance to uh, for you to kind of stretch your your creative uh, and expressive uh, uh, self. And we've invited six or eight, ten people from the public on right. Saturday night as well. Yeah.
we had a huge response from people willing to um, open their home and their bedroom for billing. Uh, and we weren't able to use them all, but um, so we've invited all of them to come just because of their generosity and to show gratitude. So that's it for tonight, for the for the, for the first night. So we'll, we'll see you all tomorrow morning, uh, bright and early, 8 a.m., and we'll uh, keep on going. Thank you all, folks. Bye. Good to see you.